Hi, my name is Stephen Dempsey. Because the photo persona in Affinity has so many powerful tools, I do most of my processing there. I adjust my raw photos with that in mind when I'm in the develop persona. Let me show you what I mean. I went over some of these things already in part one of this tutorial, but I'll reiterate. The develop persona in Affinity is where all the raw processing takes place. Raw files are great for capturing much more shadow and highlight detail than a standard JPEG. Essentially what I like to do is make sure I've captured the most tonal information I can in the develop persona so that I have a robust file to work with once I bring it into the photo persona. Today I'm going to demonstrate how I typically assess and process a raw photograph in the develop persona. So let's get started. I'll import this photo I shot in Ackle Island on the west coast of Ireland. As you can see, it's pretty flat. I underexposed it purposely to preserve all the sky details. The first thing I notice is that the horizon line is not straight. It's actually a tricky photo to even spot that with all the curves and hills, but it's definitely off. To fix this, I'll go to the crop tool and click on the straighten icon. The only visible part of the horizon is up here by the water. I'll drag a line from one side to the other and let Affinity Photo do the work for me. I'm happy with that so I'll crop in on the transparent areas where the rotation occurred. I'll move the crop lines until I'm happy with the composition. About here is good for me. Next I'll open up the basic studio and adjust some of the tones. As great as the iPad screens are, sometimes it's hard to know when you've pushed a highlight or shadow too much. I like to keep the display brightness of my iPad about 50% in a moderately lit room. That seems to yield the most accurate colors and tones. In the command menu, you'll see that Affinity Photo has an option to visually alert you when highlights are blown or shadows are crushed. By blown, I mean that some of the details have gone to pure white with no detail. On the other end of the scale, when shadows are crushed, it means that they've gone to pure black and all detail is lost. In order to know when these extremes happen, you can turn on alerts. If I toggle clipped highlights, anything that's pure white will show as a red overlay. If I toggle clipped shadows, anything that's pure black will show as a blue overlay. This is really handy when you want to retain as much information in your photo as possible. Now let's go back to the basic studio and adjust a few settings. I'll push the exposure and when I move the slider to the right, you can see the clouds begin to clip. I'll pull it back until I don't see any red. Same with my black point. I want to push it to the right until it's close to pure black. This is subjective by the way. You might like brighter shadows for instance, or you might want to crush your shadows and that's fine. I'll also boost the brightness a little, which lifts the midtones. You can see that the ruins are looking better. I'll also take down the highlights just a tad to avoid any overexposure. Maybe I'll adjust the contrast a little also. At this point, I feel like I'm losing some of the detail in the sky, so I'm going to fix that by clicking on the gradient overlay tool. This basically creates a mask and a new layer for me to adjust, independent of the rest of the photograph. If I go to the Overlay Studio, we can see the gradient overlay layer I just created. It is already selected, so that means that the tools in the Basic Studio now pertain to this layer. Let's make a few adjustments. I'll bring down the exposure and make a few other adjustments here. Basically, I want to maintain the drama of the sky and still have detail in the mid and foreground areas. That looks good. Let's return to the Overlay Studio and make sure that our master layer is selected so that we can adjust the entire image again. I'll go to the Detail Studio and sharpen the image a little. Clicking on the Navigation Studio, I'll set the zoom to 100%. This is advisable when judging sharpness. I'll make my radius about 20 and amount around 40%. I'll be making further sharpening adjustments using the high pass filter later in the photo persona, so this is good for now. There is no color fringing or chromatic aberration in this particular photo, so I don't need to make any adjustments in the lens studio. 
I also don't see any distortion, so I'm not concerned with any of that. I'll go to the Tone Studio and adjust the curves a little to bring out some mid-tone detail, particularly in the runes. I'll push the center of the curves graph up, and you can see that it makes a dramatic difference. I also want to enhance the blacks and whites by pushing in on the left and right of the graph. That looks good. Let's return to the Basic Studio and do some final processing. I'll push the vibrance all the way to the right to enhance the green in the grass. I'll also cool the color temperature so that the rocks of the ruin look a little better. That's good. I won't use the clarity tool even though I love what it does. The only choice I have in the develop persona is to affect the entire image, so I'll not do it here. I don't want to make the clouds look too crunchy. By the way, clarity is one of those tools that's not available using the overlay layers in the develop persona, so it's not possible to apply it selectively. I think I'm done. If I click on split, we can see the difference from where I started. In the next video, I'll continue working on this image in the photo persona. In some cases, you can be done at this stage, and there are many times when all I want to do is some basic processing in the develop persona. But the real magic occurs in the photo persona. There is an abundance of creative tools that can help you realize your vision. We'll look at some of them the next time. I hope this was helpful. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like what I'm doing in general, please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching.